Hey everyone, before this vlog starts, I just wanna let you know that I'm having a fundraiser to raise money for kids with cancer on November 29th for my birthday. I do this every single year. Mark it on your calendars, November 29th. It is Sunday at noon Pacific Standard Time. I will start putting the link to the donation place in my bio below so you guys can start donating or check it out or whatever you wanna do. Yeah, I'm very excited. So anyway, here's the vlog. Welcome to Vlogmas where I vlog every day. celebrate all right guys I'm getting a late start to the vlog today because it's been a hectic day we're getting ready for our little trip that we're taking tomorrow we're doing a big family vacation um, just for a couple days for my birthday Flynn my hair is doing the weirdest things it's like curly in some places and some places like nah, I'm gonna be straight so I don't know what's happening um, we are headed to the park because I've been running around like a cuckoo pants head all day trying to like organize for our little trip Eric's very good about always being like, hey, we should get out and do something. You can't just be a hermit all day. So that's what we're doing. We're going to a park and we're gonna play and we're gonna run around, get some energy out. And that's the plan. So come along with us. Oh, by the way, this morning started off with a really cute FaceTime video call between Flynn and my nephew, Duncan. They are best friends and they were just laughing at each other for like 10 minutes. I filmed a little bit of it, so it was really cute. Achoo! This is exciting stuff. There's a bulldozer. What, what do you do? see, Flynn? A bulldozer? A bulldozer! What's that? Crazy bulldozer. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Let's go. Go. <laughs> Tumbleweed. For anyone who doesn't know what a tumbleweed is, that right there is a tumbleweed. California is pretty close to a lot of like deserts and stuff. I mean, not near. There's a lot of deserts here in California. Tons everywhere. So I grew up seeing tumbleweeds everywhere, but I don't know if that's that common anywhere else. But here I grew up seeing them. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa! It's got thorns all over it. Flynn, did you leave your truck in the dirt? Flynn, 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 please take your bulldozer. Flynn. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Not interested? Well then I'll do it. I'm wearing a mask. Doesn't work because masks work. Go! Go! <laughs> Remember when he used to look in these gopher holes and talk to the gophers, love? Like yeah. beginning of quarantine, we go see the gophers like every day and he'd be so cute. Like you, have, you just haven't seen them in a while. He still looks in the holes. He just, they haven't popped out. Yay! He's having so much fun. He just goes, yay! Don't forget your bulldozer. Ready, Flynn? You can't leave your toys on the ground, Flynn. You want to leave it here? That means you never get to play with it again. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye to your bulldozer for the rest of your life. What's that, Flynn? Do you say a ball? It's a gopher. Can you say gopher? Good. Good job. 
Bye bye, Goduk. <laughs> bye bye, Goduk. Say hi. Where'd it go, Flynn? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I think he went nine nine. Say bye bye. Bye bye, old and beautiful. Gopher. Go to bye bye, go to. Good boy. Bye bye, go to. Say hi, ducks. Hi, duck. So pretty here. Hello, Georgina. You guys just holding hands and looking at the water. So cute. I gotta take a picture. Say bye bye, ducks. Bye bye monster truck. Where's our monster truck? That guy's a monster truck. <laughs> Remote control one. Oh. I am on my phone because my vlogging camera is downstairs. I'm just uploading my vlog for the day. And while it's uploading, I was watching Mama Dr. Jones. We did a collab together where she interviewed me about my pregnancy and I hadn't had a chance to watch it yet. And so I just kind of had it on while my video was uploading. And I got brave and scrolled down to read the comments thinking everyone was gonna be like, oh, you shouldn't complain and blah, blah. And they are making me feel so emotional. To anyone who has watched her video of me talking about my pregnancy and left a sweet comment, like, thank you so much you have no idea how much it means to me to hear people say these sweet things like god i wish i couldn't relate to this but she just described my entire pregnancy i also never want to be pregnant ever again yet i want more kids seriously i'm here crying knowing i'm not the only one thank you so much for this i feel validated like that comment because <laughs> i've never met anyone else who feels the way that i do i've cried so much about it how desperately like i love being a mom and i want more kids so bad and yes eric and i have talked a lot about like adopting and like we're excited at the idea of that but like I'm sad that I didn't get to enjoy my pregnancy and that I feel guilty that I didn't get to enjoy it I want to be pregnant again like I want to give Flynn another sibling I want to try pregnancy again and, and I want to enjoy it but like I'm so scared it'll be just as bad as it was last time and I talk about everything in this video like everything I went through and to read comments that other women have felt the same way that I do just like makes me feel so just knowing that there's someone else out there who feels the same way because I feel so guilty about it I feel guilty that I didn't like my pregnancy I feel guilty that like I don't want to get pregnant again I feel like I get jealous not in a mean way but just like internally jealous when my friends get pregnant or talk about how they can't wait to get pregnant again after having enough a pregnancy and like it just makes me like I don't know it makes me feel good to hear and read that other people feel the same way this is so hard to watch with Colleen looking on the edge of tears the whole time she clearly still has a lot of guilt and trauma over the whole deal over the whole ordeal this person says I was sick for the whole 41 weeks I was pregnant um, she talks about all her horrible symptoms extremely painful and then she said when I tell my family I don't want to be pregnant again they say you'll forget about it you'll change your mind it's been 18 months and I'm still firmly in the know that's like how I feel, but I feel awful about it because like, I I want to want to be pregnant, do you know what I mean? So it's just good to see that other people feel that way too. <laughs> so it said, a woman never forgets her lady business being torn to shreds during delivery. <laughs> this sounds like my mom's pregnancy experience. Unsurprisingly, I am an only child. I don't want Flynn to be an only child. <laughs> you get to the depth of the trauma when you realize at one point Colleen refers to her pregnancy like it's a disease she had. <laughs> Oh my God. This person said, I was fainting a lot when pregnant. And when I told my doctor, she said my blood pressure was fine. And she basically told me I was lying about fainting almost every day. Why would someone lie about that? That happened to me. I was fainting almost every day. What would happen is I got so used to it that I would, I could feel when it was happening. I could feel that I was going lightheaded. I started to lose my sense of sight. Like I started to black out and I would lose my hearing. I just hear loud ringing and I'd be like, oh, I'm fainting. And so I would lay down and put my feet up and I wouldn't like fully pass out, but 
all those things like i would lose my vision lose my hearing have to lay down if i didn't lay down i would fall when i told people about it they would be like well did you actually faint did you like pass out I'd be like no i mean i guess i was awake like my brain was working be like, well then you didn't faint i just feel like my entire pregnancy every symptom was just completely invalidated and that exact same thing happened to me i'm so grateful i got to do this i think mama dr jones is awesome thank you to everyone who's was so supportive in the comments and who's been so supportive of me overall throughout my whole pregnancy and all of that stuff oh my gosh it just made me so emotional to just like feel validated in my really painful <laughs> negative experience because it's something i struggle with almost every day i think about like how desperately i wish i wanted to be pregnant if that makes sense like because i don't want to be pregnant because it was so painful but like i want to be pregnant i just want a different pregnancy i want someone else's pregnancy i don't want mine again obviously i would do it a million times over for flynn i've seen comments sometimes of people being like what if flynn sees this what if your kid hears you say that you hated your pregnancy with him I, i'm gonna be completely open and honest with him and i want him to understand what women could go through while they're pregnant i want him to understand that and i want him to appreciate women and their bodies and i want him to be educated on what could happen and i want him to be educated that all women are different all pregnancies are different and some pregnancies are wonderful some pregnancies aren't so great and some pregnancies are terrible i think he should know that and i don't think there's shame in that and it has nothing to do with him he's perfect and incredible and amazing and it's not his fault my pregnancy was rough my body was in charge of that pregnancy and my body was a mess and he was perfect the whole time so i will gladly talk to him about this i'm glad if he watches these videos of me talking about it because i think it'll make him appreciate and understand women more and the men who can get pregnant out there um the trans men out there too you know i want him to be able to understand that it's not just like a perfect pregnancy just because i love him i love him so much regardless of if it was a wonderful pregnancy or a hard one that has nothing to do with my love for my sons don't comment that i hate when people say that stuff <laughs> don't guilt women for having difficult pregnancies or births we need to not do that anymore <sighs> now i'm all emotional <laughs> Okay, bye. I just filmed a video and now I'm cooking dinner. We still have not finished packing for our trip tomorrow. Whoops. And I haven't gotten much of my work done. I don't understand how the day just like happens and like I, I try so hard to get everything done and I just never do. So I'm quickly gonna whip up some enchiladas. We haven't made enchiladas in a while so I'm gonna do a makeshift quick version. I usually make tortillas from scratch. I'm not doing that today. Don't have time for that. Not happening. Made enchiladas. This is all that's left. One lone little enchilada by itself. So now what I wanna do is make some cookies. Now, I'm eating olives straight from the can. That I am a, I don't know what it is. But I wanna make cookies because I wanna bring the dough with me to the lodge because I love eating cookies every single night. So I'm gonna make cookie dough, put it in a little Tupperware and bring the cookie dough with me so that I can make cookies whenever I want at the lodge because it's my birthday and that's what I want to do. So that's what I'm about to do. Did you just peep in and then peep out? Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I also just got a really cute birthday present from Eric. My first birthday present, Lily. Yeah, it's my first birthday present. I got a really cute puffy jacket and a beanie he got me. He was like, I have to give you a birthday present early because we're going to the lodge. Most of the reviews are like, it's freezing here. But the weather doesn't look like it's gonna be cold. When I booked it and I checked and said it would be like, the high was like 50 degrees. Yeah, I checked the reviews for the place we're going, the exact lodge we're going to from the same dates, but last year and it was snowing and people got snowed in like the same dates that we're going. And now it's like, it might be warm. So, but I'm still gonna bring my cute jacket because I love it. <gasps> we have to bring coffee. That could have been dangerous if we ever got coffee, guys. Anyway, I'm gonna make um, cookies. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, I did not make cookies when I said I was going to. The last couple hours, I actually went and edited because I forgot I'm supposed to post a Miranda video tomorrow. So instead of making cookies, I edited a video and it's now exporting. So while it's exporting, I'm going to make cookies. I still have not packed. Um, Flynn is packed. I, flacked, I packed, I flacked. Oh gosh, I need to go to bed. I packed all Flynn stuff, um, but I have yet to pack my own. And I packed all the food for everyone, but I have not packed any of my clothes or my belongings. Anyway, whoa, that could have been disastrous. If you wanna make cookies with me, let's do it. I've taught you this recipe before, but let's do it again. This is my mom's recipe. Also the recipe on the back of the Nestle Toll House chocolate chip bag. Two sticks of butter, softened. This is equivalent to two sticks. Add three fourths cup of white sugar. My mom always let it overflow a little bit when I was a little girl when she made this recipe, so that's what I do as well. And three fourths cup brown sugar. And yes, I have this memorized. I've had this recipe memorized since I was like 10. Brown sugar, firmly packed and a little bit overflowing as you can see here. Ta-da! 
in the pot. All right, then you put the mixer thingy on and you mix it until it's very, very blended. And while it's mixing, I add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. How cute are my little cactus thingies? Next, crack in two eggs and blend it really, really well. I kind of blend it for a long time. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but that's what I do and it's delicious. I got an eggshell in there. <gasps> I found it. Oh, thank the Lord. Mix it up. Once that's beautifully blended, we add two and a quarter cups of flour and a teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of salt and you mix that all together just until nicely blended, blended. Okay, one. And then I added my baking soda before I put in the other cup. You're supposed to blend the dry ingredients before you mix it in, but I never wanna do that. And so I just put in a cup of flour, then I put in the baking soda and the salt, and then I put the other cup of flour on top of that, and it's kind of like I blended it. I just put in a cup of flour, then a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of salt, now here's my other cup of flour, and my quarter cup of flour. Mix that up. And finally, the most important step, chocolate chips. Semi-sweet chocolate chips. Two cups. One, two. And I add a little extra because I love chocolate. Mix it up, girl. And here you have beautiful, luscious, perfect chocolate chip cookie dough. Yes, look at that delicious scrumptiousness. In case you were following along, which I know none of you were, you put it in the oven at 375 degrees for like 10 minutes, depends on the oven. Mine usually takes more like 11 minutes. I use a melon ball scoop that's this size, and that's what I use. I feel like there's something in my pants. It's my phone. I use this. So I'm gonna make two cookies right now because I wanna eat a cookie, and the rest I'm gonna put in a Tupperware and take with me on my trip. Pop them in the fridge and then you can take one out and have a fresh hot warm cookie whenever you want in 10 little minutes easy Oh my goodness. It's the end of the night I cannot believe we leave tomorrow for this little trip for my birthday. I feel like usually I'm so I'm much more prepared no, I'm never prepared, let's be honest. But at least I feel like mentally I'm usually more prepared. I'm like counting down the days until a trip and prepping ahead of time. And this one, I'm just like, oh, it just happened out of nowhere. I'm like, oh my God, we're leaving tomorrow. That's so crazy. I am so excited. I uh, There's nothing I love more than just spending time with my family. It's my favorite thing in the world. So Eric found a really cool place that's pretty nearby. It's like a random ranch in the middle of nowhere. I know there's lots of animals. I think there's llamas and chickens and horses and um, alpacas or something like there's a bunch of random like animals that are just roaming around on the land so hopefully we'll see some really cool animals and just have some great time with family there's no tvs there it's the middle of nowhere there's like just nothing but family make sure to go check out the new miranda video if you haven't seen it already i'm doing another zoom giveaway date lunch thing on today's episode of the miranda video because the last time i did it was so fun and i loved it and it was easy and fun and i just i want to do it every day with you guys so i was like all right i'll just do that so if you guys want to win a like Zoom hangout lunch date with me, go check out the new Miranda video and you can see how you can win. You don't have to pay anything. It's free. You just like literally have to just watch it and like comment. I love you guys. I'm going to go pack now that it's midnight and eat my cookies and go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. It's an exciting day tomorrow vacation.